Hi, it's Dr. Degarski. Good morning. So, a few people have written in with a question or two after the last newsletter. And whether you're actually joining my 12 week clearing or you're not, I want to give you a few gifts right here this morning. And the questions were around gut feeling, inspiration, and intuition, right? And what these are, they're actually your quantum abilities, your superpowers, your uh, ways, the unseen attributes that you have to be able to make sense of this world and to be able to make sense of your own um, potential at any given time, the, poten the potential of the ideas you receive, to know whether these are good ideas or bad ideas and to be able to follow your own guidance, right? It can kind of be quite confusing between gut feeling, inspiration and intuition. So I want to try and make that clear for you. And if you are joining the 12 week clearing, you're very, very welcome. This will be very important for you to uh, to take note of. So this is I'm doing this recording for, for you and for people who are considering joining the clearing, but you're not sure yet. So here it is. The gut feeling is right here, right? This is your solar plexus. And your solar plexus, your gut feeling, I also call it your GPS sometimes because it seems very fitting a description to, you know, to, to describe that which is telling you exactly if something, a place, or, you know, an idea you're having is actually good for you. And the gut feeling doesn't take any rationalization from the mind. So the gut feeling happens the moment you encounter that thing, right? So I'm going to give you an example. Uh, a gut feeling is you walk in somewhere to a room and you go, uh-uh, I'm not staying here. What the gut feeling is, is it's linked to your super conscious mind, which has the recording of everything that you've ever experienced. And it's letting you know if for you this is safe or not, if it's beneficial or not. And if you're a businessman or a businesswoman, I'm talking to business people all the time and I, I was talking to a man just a couple of weeks ago and he made one of the greatest business deals so far just because he follows his gut feeling and he doesn't know anything about any metaphysical subjects or even what I'm talking about or teaching, you know, he's just somebody who knows how to listen to his gut feeling when he's about to put a lot of money on a deal, right? Another example I want to give you is, I actually heard this on Oprah, Oprah Winfrey one time, and, excuse me, there was a young lady there who just secured a job in a shop, right? And the shop was supposed to close at six o'clock, and it was like two past six or something, and she, there's somebody at the door, it's a man, and he's knocking on the door and saying, hello, I want to come in, you know, and it's kind of like, you know, two or three minutes past six, and she, her first gut feeling was don't open the door okay and then her head came in to rationalize it and said well I'm a new employee and I want to do the right thing because you know I've just got given the job here and everything anyway she rationalized her gut feeling and what happened next is that she was assaulted actually and she was actually on Oprah talking about this and Oprah was saying to her did you did you know did some part of you know and she said yeah I did you know I heard my gut feeling so whether we're talking about your safety whether we're talking about your business deals business decision obviously you need more information than just your gut feeling but I'm just talking about once you have all the intellectual information the whatever you need to you know take your head with you obviously the you have this ability in your own body to know what's what's good for you and what's not good for you the gut feeling is usually instant and it doesn't you know the the, the minute after that you, the head starts to come in and argue you know and you got these two parts of your mind the conscious and the subconscious and you know it gets messy right so i'm saying to you the gut feeling is the first thing now this is not the same at all as your intuition or as your inspiration intuition and inspiration come from an idea you hear and we have to put something else in there which is that you may be kinesthetic a kind of kinesthetic learner which means you need to touch 
write down, doodle to learn the information. You may be a visual learner, which means that you like to watch videos to learn things. Or you may be more of an auditory learner, which is you can uh, listen to a tape while you're driving and this is how you best learn, right? So you got to take this into account as well. What kind of learner, learner sorry, are you? And when you've got that, you know how you receive your information, right? Your information, the new business idea, the innovative idea in your department, or if, you, if, you're, an, if you're an entrepreneur or a solopreneur, the next best idea for your next product that's going to you know, rock the place and you know, make your clients raving fans and allow you to feel you're contributing. Or it could be the next book you're going to write. It could be something creative. It could be something that you like to do as a hobby, right? So the inspiration comes from the bigger part of your mind. So I just want to explain very quickly. Now I'm talking about the mind and I'm talking about your mind as a whole, which is made from super conscious. You don't have to worry about that. Super conscious is always in contact with that which we come from. We don't know what that is, but I'm going to, some people call it God. I'm going to keep it clean <laughs> and call it natural intelligence. I think that's nice and clean. So you have that and then you have your conscious mind and you got your subconscious mind and the bigger dealing, the only one you need to take care of or the only one you have any choice, I'm going to say brackets, you know, choice or control is between your conscious and your subconscious mind, right? And the, uh, uh, the inspiration comes from source and comes through your superconscious and you receive it consciously. This is where inspiration comes from. Inspiration is where every work of art has ever been, has ever been created from, sorry. Um, you know, Michelangelo used to say, I just cut away the marble away from the angels, but the angels are already in the marble. So it's a beautiful way of explaining it. And you've got works of art in literature, in you know, every art form, filmmaking, story writing, dancing, singing, uh, so, some amazing products are actually inspired as well. Some things, products and services that you can buy today. So this is where inspiration comes from. It's very different from your gut feeling. Okay. Gut feeling is in the belly and it's something you receive. The only question is, are you paying attention to you or not? And I want to give you one more thing this morning. This is a good Sunday morning. Um, it's called the BBC, right? It's not the BBC, the world famous radio. It's my BBC, the Body Breath Connection. It's one of the steps that I teach in mindfulness, in the, the active walking meditation mindfulness that I teach people. And the BBC, it's extremely simple. Anyone can do that. Even a child can do it. But it allows you to come back to yourself. I'm not going to give you the step now because you can go to the website and get the free download for the book. If you want a clearing, you can sign up for a, a free clearing as well. So I really do a lot so you can experience my materials without taking any risk. And I really hope you enjoy them. But to just talk about coming back to yourself through the BBC, it's basically being aware in the moment being not in the mind and not lost in emotions or projections it's being in your own body and being able to notice at all that you're receiving information through your gut feeling otherwise you don't feel it you don't see it and you don't hear it right and then we miss it and it happens when we're too preoccupied but i'm just saying making use of your quantum abilities, your attributes, these invisible things that I'm talking about, right, leans on you being able to be conscious enough, being in your own body enough, right, and the, the, this, this is the make or break of can you actually use your God-given talents, attributes, or if you're not comfortable with the word God, your natural intelligence, which you are an embodiment of, whether you can make use of that or not is dictated by the fact that you're either conscious and coming back to your own body or you're so preoccupied that you cannot be. 
um, so that's that's the difference there, right? So it's it, being in your body is one thing, and then being able to listen to inspiration. I'm always doing this because <laughs> we have this thing as inspiration coming from above, uh, but it's because it's our superior mind that's downloading this amazing idea, and that really saves our ego. You know when. When the conscious mind says, hey, I've had a fantastic idea, it's not from the conscious mind. It's been whispered by inspiration, by this natural intelligence that I'm talking about. And usually it's a very, very subtle whisper. When you have a brilliant idea, it's very, very subtle. You could miss it if you didn't pay attention to your own uh, God-given attributes, right? So that's all I want to give you for today. Making the difference between gut feeling, which is in the gut, and inspiration, which is given to you from your superior mind, itself in connection with the creator's mind. And you don't need to worry about that. But it sure is nice to be able to hear it when it speaks to you. So that's all I wanted to give you for today. I hope you benefited. As a reminder, you can go to my website, drdugas.com. You will be able to get, if you're interested in the BBC step that I was talking about, you can download it free. It's only eight pages, guys, ladies and gentlemen. You can read it and use it straight away, right? And write to me with any questions. I'd love that. Um, when you register for any of my products, you're going to be automatically on the newsletter. So you don't need to register for the newsletter on top. If you don't avail of any free product, you won't be on the newsletter, then you need to register also at the website. And right now you can have a free subconscious clearing, which is what I specialize in. It's also available on the website. Just click on to drdugas.com and I'll be talking to you from there as well. Thank you. Have a really great day. And you know what? You're amazing. Breathe that in, please, right now. You're an amazing person. You're an amazing being. You have so much potential in you that I really, really hope to be able to be a little bit of a, 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 you know, a moment in amidst your amazing life and be able to contribute to you with what I have to offer. I'm right here. Thank you. Take care. Bye.